your brain is developing. A yeah. lot of people don't know that, young people. Don't come at me because I'm going to get emails. Also, your short, no, your short-term memory, it um, we completely destroys your short-term memory. And that's why it a lot It kills of, brain cells. Yeah. You don't Kinda. need to start doing that until you're older. Yeah. I mean, when you're older, I, I don't care what that. you do. Yeah, your brain doesn't stop developing until you're 25. That's true. Now. It's about right. 25 in a male and 23 in a female. Yep. And it's not my numbers. But no. And science. I'm not, again. Science I'm, numbers. <laughs> and again, I'm not, I'm not knocking kids who do. Everybody does. They try. They this. But I don't want to see you get. Don't touch anything. <laughs> it's the greatest find yet. Nothing compares to it. But it's definitely something you should hear. This is The Real Deal. With Larry Lawton. Welcome to The Real Deal with me, Larry Lawton. We have a great, great, great show today. Our show is going to be with Dane, a former guest on the show. And uh, Dane is a 14-year-old from, yes, West Virginia's Noah's older brother. So this is going to be interesting. But before I start, everybody, please, let's thank and let me mention my sponsor, of course, which is Oliva Cigars. Oliva Cigars bit with me for the beginning. They are the third largest cigar company in the world, the largest hand-rolled cigar company in the world, and they are on the move. They're not quitting, I can tell you that. They are great people and a lot of fun. So I love that, guys. So make sure you uh, check them out. Just check them out. They're in a link below. So, we have Dane with me. Dane, you're 14 years old. You were on the show. Yep. Uh, let me ask you a couple of questions. Uh, first of all, the last appearance was about a year and a half ago, a year ago? About a year ago. Almost uh, exactly. And you got in trouble uh, for uh, stealing your dad's money, 200 bucks, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. you ended up uh, getting punished, but you were pretty smart. But I covered for yeah. you. Remember, we covered. He couldn't couldn't give you a punishment. Uh yeah. So, uh, has anything bad been going on like that? Not bad, but any, you been in trouble at all? No. None? Like, I got, I, I'd get yelled at, but it wouldn't be like grounding. I haven't got grounded. You haven't got grounded in all that time? Yeah. Wow, you're pretty good if you haven't got grounded. I got to give you that, man. You know, I mean, that, that's big time. <laughs> that, that sounds, you don't, you don't know what's going on, but uh, <laughs> I love it. So, anyway, Dane, uh, let me ask you a couple of questions. Your brother. He doesn't no. seem as street smart as you yeah. were at 12. <laughs> now, he's street smart. Don't get me wrong. He's watching his young older brother. He knows but, some stuff. Yeah, he does. He and do you worry about that? No, not at all. You don't worry he's, about no, that? No, he's more of like, like when my mom, like for when he got into the middle school, they all thought he was going to be like me, and he was the exact opposite. So I don't really have like a... What do you mean by that? Like, so I hear... My first year of fifth grade, I failed almost every single class. Like, like it was like all Fs, didn't listen, didn't sleep, bad cursing, got caught with stuff in school, bringing it to school, all that. Multiple times that year. And then sixth grade happened. He's still in a different grade. Seventh grade, he comes up into the, uh, he's in the middle school. And uh, their teachers are thinking, they read Salmon's and they think, oh my God, are you Dane's little brother? And they... He told him, yeah, and everything. And for the first day, all the teachers were mean to him because they thought, they thought he was going to be like me, and then they realized, like, he's nothing like me at all. And, and how are you doing in school? Right now? Yeah. Well, at the end, when I, w uh, I was doing all right at the end for this eighth grade. Well, like, in the middle, in the middle, it was... Uh, you're, you're in the eighth grade for next year. Uh, this coming year, you, you're going to be a, uh, in high school? Yeah, freshman. Uh, you said you were wrestling, and you were on the wrestling team. Yeah. Uh, in the middle school, is it the same yeah. school too, or is it? Uh, and it's just I. It's like the the middle school is built on a top of a hill, and then you walk like thirty feet, and then there's the high school down it. Okay, so yeah. it's in the same complex yeah, area. Yeah, pretty much. So are they the, like same teachers, kind of, or is it different? Different teachers. So the middle school and the high school aren't connected at all. There's like the buildings aren't connected at all. It's just one's built on the hill, and then the other one's like you walk around a roundabout. And then there's another school right there. Gotcha. Okay. So they don't know you. You know everybody because all the kids from the middle school go on up to the high yeah, school. Yeah, and also, like, I don't hang out with, like, anybody from the middle school. Like, maybe, like, two, three people. Most of the people I hang out from the high school. Uh, so you were hanging out with older kids. That's why you were yeah. a little bit of trouble, too, I think. <laughs> yeah, uh, probably. So now, uh, obviously, what about your brother? Does he do that or not? No. Good. He is, like, 
he doesn't go out much either. Like when he does, he goes he goes across the street to play with his friends and stuff like that, and then he comes home and like plays Roblox. Because his his uh, grades were pretty good. I mean, and yours he's, are, he's he's got he's got good grades, and you don't. No. <laughs> well, you know, you got to get better grades. What do I mean? Do you have I any guess. plan? I mean, you're 14 now. Do you have any plans for life? I don't really fully know. I mean, I, I understand yeah. that, and I respect that. You yeah, know, you um, know, I'm not one ever to yell. You know that. You know me real yeah. well. Uh, uh, listen, it, it's very rare that a 14 year old really knows what he wants to do in life. Yeah, se. I don't really know what I want to do. I mean, I have a job right now, so I'm, I'm you're good. actually working. Yeah. In, in, what do you do in work? For? Okay, so I work at Weirton Rental Center down at my. Like, uh, it's, uh, is it a legal there. job? No, it's it, it's it's f- sorry, legal. It's full legal job. I had to sign a paper and everything. I had to get my student ID, like all that. Did your dad have to sign for you too? Mom. Oh, your mom. Okay. Okay. So, so you are legally allowed to work in 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 uh, West Virginia at fourteen. Yeah. I don't know what the age limit is in every state. I I, I do think it's different. Like you know, at what age you're allowed to work? Yeah, I have two you, jobs. So one. Whoa, whoa, stop! Like <laughs> How are you having two jobs when you have school? Well, you don't have school now. It's summer. yeah. Um, because I can change the hours and stuff like that. They're very lenient with what me. Are I can you doing? just like okay. So um, it's gonna sound weird, but uh, one of the things that we do is since I I'm just a helping hand at this point. Okay, so I'm 14. I can't do anything big. Like they drive cars around and move like heavy stuff and stuff like that like what is it I mean, what, what's so the like, name of the company weirton rental center mm. so they rent equipment pretty much like you know like backhoes and anything like that or? yeah and then um like they drive them there and stuff like that i obviously can't drive yet um right now i'm just like there's a workshop we have and um i'm kind of just in there right now helping and really like hey pick this up do that and, like help with stuff you know yeah, so, so I'm, pretty, I'm pretty much just a helping hand right now because I can't. I'm 14. I can't do anything. Right. So you sweep, you <laughs> the, the mop, pretty, you clean uh, pretty the bathroom, much, yeah. whatever you have to do. Yeah, that's good. I mean, what's your other job? Hard by my dad. You what? Hard by my dad. He does. Oh, you, he does. He you're the DJ. Yeah, like he. I oh, do. He's a DJ. You dad. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like his other job. He's a DJ, and I do all the lights, like all the lights, and I set up the equipment. Really? Yeah, and I do all the lights. So you could set up all this electronic equipment and stuff? Yeah. Like Nick was doing earlier when you came in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what my dad just says is he does the sound part, and he's like, and introducing your Mr. and Mrs. Like he uh, does, he does, he does wedding videos. Yeah, he okay, does yes. wedding video, uh, weddings like, and all that. Yeah, he goes like, um, so like, we'll be at the place. And like, we arrive like two hours early once we arrived. And he's like, all right, start setting up. And we like, we got a dolly. We open up the van. We start taking out everything. I set it all up. And then... um. He has his music, kind of like that. It's where he can control of his music. But well, he has like thirty on there, <laughs> and then um, I get I have two iPads that I control all the lights. We have a light system and a speaker system, and I control all the lights. You you control? Oh, so you mean he has he has a, like a light show too? Yes, yeah, for for like the DJ stuff. So we have two big like speakers, and then there's two more speakers stacked on top of that that are about like this skinny. The other one's probably about that big. And then you have disco yeah. lights. Yeah, and then and the that. top, you have these two disco lights that spin on the sides, and on the front, you have, like, these circle lights and then, like, big bar lights. It, and is your dad busy doing that? I mean, does he go every weekend and do something? Uh, it depends, because um, uh, we have... He's multiple people that, like, work with him, like DJ Mike. Like, there's all these different guys that are with him. So, like, they kind of just, like, hey... I'm busy with this. Are you doing this? Okay, no, I'll do this. Like, they all do different weddings for each other. And if, like, one guy is busy, they'll text my dad, hey, can you do this wedding for me? And then he does the wedding, and then my dad gets some money. Well, of course. Yeah, it's just, just, just... They a, cover for each other. Yeah, they cover for each other. So you time. live in a small town. We know that, right? Like, yeah. How, where in, what's the name of your town in West Weirdin. Virginia? Weirdin, West Virginia? Yeah, Weirdin. Is it west of, in West Virginia, or is it east? Where, like, what is it close to? Can you uh, can you describe where Weirdin is in West Virginia? I don't. The only way I know how to explain it looks rude. And if you look at West Virginia like this, I'm at the tippy top of West Virginia. I'm like all the way right here, like right next to Ohio. So like, oh, I could, okay. So you yeah. okay? Well, so I, I could I, I could walk into Ohio. Right. So you you are north and probably west. Right. Believe. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, all yeah, I know yeah. is if I look at West Virginia, if you look at it, I'm right at the tippy top. The tippy top. Okay, so you're Northwest Virginia. That's pretty. That that makes it a little bit farther to get here. Actually, it's about eighteen hours. 
Yeah, it's a, New York is about 20 hours, so uh, that's pretty wild because you're going a little bit west as well. So since you were on this show and you you revealed a few things, you're a wild kid, you know. I mean, it, listen, when I looked at you and I look at the, uh, Noah and all the kids, uh, we like the fact that you guys are start. Your dad lets you live, but he also can put the hammer down, I guess, or, yeah. if, so to speak. And obviously, you don't want to grow up too quick. Yeah. I mean, you talked to me about already stuff that, that that's knocking me out my block over here. Girlfriends is 14. Just turned 14. Yeah, sir. Is it really a girlfriend? We don't know yet. We don't know. I mean, you're too young to know. I mean, mm. honestly, I'm not going to get into too much on this show yeah, here. I, uh, I don't want to do that because uh, I don't think it's appropriate. You know, to do something yeah. on air and, and stuff. I, I want that. you to just keep keep in mind, and you know me as much as fun as I am, but I'm always about responsibility. Yeah, take responsibility. Don't do something stupid. <laughs> and when I say stupid, is you're gonna you're gonna make choices. You gotta stop sometimes and think. You get in that car with that kid with the you know with a, <laughs> with a gun. <laughs> you're going uh, to jail. I'm sure. Yeah. I know West Virginia has a lot of guns and everything else, and they hunt. Do you hunt? Yeah. Do you, do, have you ever got a deer or anything like that? Uh, uh, I haven't got that big game yet because I wasn't. You're not allowed getting your hunting license until a certain age. Sixteen, so, probably. Mm -mm. I can get it at twelve. So like, you, I oh, can, in West Virginia, you can get yeah, a and also license. like like if there's a certain like if you have a certain amount of land, you can drive. So like if you've like a, I think it's like above a thousand acres or something like that, you can drive a truck and you could just drive on your land only. You cannot drive there's, on the streets. Here, that, that, there's there's when well, I've seen there's l technically a few ways out of it. So like. There's no friends, way you could be on a public road. What, what my friend Thor, so he, let's say he had, he doesn't have a, like, just big circle acre. He has a long, like, it's a long strip, okay? So he can go out on the, all these roads and say he's driving back to his place and the cops won't bother him. At what age? He's 15. Mm, he uh, maybe as a learner's permit, you have to have certain, like, I drove at 14. I was stealing cars at 14. <laughs> yeah, I so, I mean, cars. obviously. Uh, well, it wasn't stealing cars. It's farm use. You, it's, it's, it's a farm use. You're allowed using it for farm use. Right. There is, yeah. there is laws, I'm sure, on yeah. farming and stuff like that. Somebody in the audience, if they know, they can let us know as well, uh, which I think is pretty cool. What you're doing, I think, is pretty cool. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, you're, you're learning uh, work. You're, you're working, which is a great thing. That that. That's a developed habit. I mean, not a habit. That's something that was ingrained in you already that you're working. And you want to make your own money. You want to do your own thing. That That is why you work, obviously. And you can stay busy, stay out of trouble. And then you will find out what you like, whether it's tech, whether it's maybe a pilot. Maybe it's, you know, you, you don't know what you're, the military. Yeah. I don't know. You don't know what, you know, you, like you said, you don't know. And that's okay. That was a kind of back off option. If I didn't have anything, if I was like multiple years like, hey, I don't know what to do. Yeah, you still don't, you know, you're 14. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm saying, like, if I if it's, like, to the point where I'm able to go, like, I'm, like, because the age and everything, like, once I'm able to go, and I'm for still a while, I'm not, don't know what to do, I would want to join for, like, a year or two. Well, you know, they also want you to have a high school diploma. Yeah, they, they also, also want to have a high school Yeah, diploma. even a little college. And again, I'm not one of these guys who believe that college is the all tell and all. Listen, yeah. go to college if you want, but if you want the trade schools, you know, plumbers and electricians, they're making big Bank. money. They're making bank. bank. And they are valuable people. I can't find mechanics. I can't find, back, you know, to, to take care of my big RV and yeah. stuff like that. You can't find mechanics. You can't find people who are trustworthy that you, oh, Jay, okay, another two grand. You roll into a place with an RV and it's going to cost you five grand when you walk out the door. I don't care who you are. Now, your, your grandpa and I know that, you know, we do a lot of stuff ourselves because you can learn on YouTube most of the <laughs> yeah, stuff. You know, I, you I really that. can. And that, and that I think is great. So now I'm gonna get into another topic with you. Go see how well adapted you are uh, with uh, stuff. Do you know what's going on? Do you know who the president of the United States is? Yeah, you do. Yeah, the who president, Joe Biden. Who's the vice president? I don't know her name. She's a uh, like Arabic or Indian lady. No, she's or a whatever. she's an African American. Sorry, African American. I don't know her race. I, right. I mean, she is Kamala I've Harris. Seen, is yeah, Kamala president. Harris. I haven't. Do you know who's running against? Joe Biden for the election. Trump. Trump. Now, do you know what's going on with that? Do you have any uh, uh, views or do you care or anything like that? Be honest. I, uh, I get told to stay. They want me to like kind of stay away from Who's it. Who's they? Like my parents. They don't want me to be like all into it. Right. Well, they're probably like a, right. I mean. Yeah, they don't want me to get all politics. into it. But um, 
I don't know how Trump w- is going to be able to do, like, do all that with the charges and stuff like that that he had. Because once you ha- once you get those charges, can- isn't that like, oh, you can't be president no more? Like, because the white not collar a, charges. Not, no, the federal law states he can be the president if he's a felon. And he can. And now he can't pardon himself because it's a state charge. But they can't put him in jail either, you know. So uh, yeah, also I think I he's think, not I going th- to jail on that yeah. anyway. You know, there's no way he's going to jail. I don't think he's going to jail on it. You don't know much about politics. What do you follow as a young kid? I don't even know any more people. I'm I'm trying to figure out what guys like Dane, who's 14. Um, what do you do? What do you follow? Give me a day of Dane. Give me a day in the summertime of Dane. Dane in the summertime. Yeah, Dane. You get up today. What do you do? I mean, you're on vacation here in, with your grandparents. Oh, I eat breakfast. E- no, even what I meant, home. even at home, what what time do you get up? What do you do? And, and you know, where do you? What's your What's your goal of a day? A regular day? Okay, we school day or summer day? Let's There's do this. a school day. School day. Okay, I I can. It depends what house I'm at. If I'm at my mom's house, I wake up a little bit earlier. I wake up at like six. If I'm at my dad's house, I can wake up at like six fifty. Oh, it's a big difference. It's, it's, He's it's, a lot it's closer a big, to the it's school. Not just the closer fact, but um. So like my mom, she provides the breakfast and stuff like that. She comes over and she's like, "Hey, here's everything." You and mean she makes your breakfast in the morning? Yeah, she makes she makes us breakfast in the morning, and even if we're at her dad's, she'll make us some and bring it over. She'll come over. She will come over. She takes us to school. She so your dad us. and mom get along. They're, yes, oh, they're, they're, they're very, very. Hey, what's up? Oh, come that's on good. in. Very nice to hear that. Yeah. So she'll come over and she'll uh, make you breakfast and yeah, and then I um like wet my hair, or whatever I had to do. It depends. Like if I had super, if I had a lot longer hair, I'd wet it, and put stuff in it. If I had shorter hair, I just wet it and let it dry. Because right now I don't have anything in it and it's not terrible. So. Right now, so you so what you do is you jump you jump in the shower, you get up, yeah, jump in the shower or put your head under the sink or whatever you do, <laughs> and you yeah. get you brush your teeth and you go and you get to school. Yeah, right. At school, what do you do? Sleep half the time. See, you know, that there is, my, there is our problem. These kids aren't ready for school. I think, first of all, I personally believe schools is way too early. Dude, no. I really school, do, people. School, school, my brother was so tired because how early, because he, he wasn't used to the switch. He, had, he got hit with the switch out of nowhere because he used to, he, he, was at, he was homeschooled. Oh, your brother. He was homeschooled since, like, kindergarten, so he doesn't know. Like, he, he was... His first, like, time back in school was from, like, kindergarten to fourth grade. He was homeschooled. Yes, homeschooled the entire time. So he's waking up at 10, 11, 12, going to bed at, like, 7, 6, like, going, like, kid, like, kid stuff. When he went to school, he nodded off while talking to a teacher. And Literally. They, they thought he would, they thought, like, he was on kid drugs. must be high or something like that. Because he's, like, nodding off, standing up. I don't know if you know how hard it is to nod Yeah, off. I've been there. I'm like... Jesus. So he's nodded off. Okay, he nodded so, off in school. So, he's done this multiple times because he terrible in sleep. Like he'll go to sleep at like three in the morning. Yeah. Well, that's again. That's that. That's another issue that has to be fixed. And I'm sure it's a lot to do with gaming and everything it's else. The sec he's up all night, but he's screaming. He's like, "Oh my god, I hate you! You should die!" Like uh, he's just screaming because he gets. Do like, you live in the same room? No. Oh, you each got your own room, yeah. your own bedroom. We all have our own bedroom. You have a, a sister as well, don't you? Yeah, she has her own bedroom. And how old is she? She's turning 10. Oh, she, she's the youngest when you're the oldest in the family. Oh, Gabe's no. the youngest. Who? Gabe. Oh, you have four kids total. Yeah. And Me, Noah, Mackenzie, Gabe. Right. And, and, and how old's Gabe? I don't know him. Uh, turning eight. Okay. I, yeah, he's a little one. Uh, the little I see a whole group yeah. of you guys come around. Okay. What music do you like? I listen to everything, but I like rap. Okay, like what rap. kind of rappers do you like? Um, who's your favorite rapper? Who's my favorite rapper? I have one. You know, I listen to rap. Yeah. Okay. Who's your favorite rapper? T Grizzly. T Grizzly. T Grizzly is good. I like him. Um, I don't really have a favorite rapper. I just listen to different stuff at different times. And I'm an old time guy, like Eminem. Okay, uh, yeah, listen, he just posted a new song, Houdini. I don't yeah, know if he you did. Saw that. Yes, yeah, he I think did. that was on like first or fourth on the chart or something like that. I read under his Yeah, video. he puts it it's out, crazy. it's coming up. The, yeah. the second he posts anything, he could not post for five years, and he'd post something pff, first well, on the chart. Well, of course. I mean, it's it's Eminem. Eminem. yeah, it's exactly. that's Marshall Mathers. I mean, that's his real name. Um, and uh, yeah, of course. It obviously. just depends. If I'm chilling, um, 
Do you know what kind of music your dad likes? Yes. What is it? He likes rock. He likes uh, Metallica. He likes... He likes headbanging music. Yeah, he he likes that. And then he also likes like Three Days Grace. He likes... um, Does he like... Do you know who Paul Simon is? Mm -mm. He likes Ghost. Stuff like that. Yeah, well, your dad... He likes headbanging music. Like headbanging rock. And then like more classic rock. He just... All types of rock, classic rock, headbanging rock, regular rock. Yeah, he's a little he younger than me, your dad. Uh, probably a lot younger than me. He is a lot younger than me. But, uh, yeah, we got the same music. I, 1975. I love, well, I'm 1961. So I was your age when your dad was born. Mm. So I <laughs> think of that. My but, grandpa's. Yeah, I know what your grandpa. grandpa. I know grandpa uh, very well. Uh, the uh, So you like that kind of music. You enjoy that. What sports do you like? Wrestling, boxing, kickboxing. Oh, do you like MMA? Yeah, I did jiu-jitsu for a bit, too. Oh, you got out of that? Or? I got out of it. You went into wrestling? Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I like Are, are you I good? Like, yes. What weight are you? 138. That's what you're going to fight at? You're how yes, much? You, well, you look a little chunky then. I look like I'm like 155. Ah, you're looking like me. So, like... Uh, do you go traveling with the, the team and all that? No. Or? So, like, the middle school, we don't travel far. Like, the farthest we, we would travel is, like, an hour or two away. The high school is, like, that's one That's that, a good ways away. Yes, that's, 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 that's a far away. Like, the high school is the one that goes far. Like, they go to states. They go to, like, big stuff. Are like they big. good? West Virginia have good wrestling teams? We're in this. <laughs> I don't know. Not you like, guys? Uh, are, We do. We're in That's like, what I asked we, you. We, we, West we Virginia. Do. Um. Oh, I thought you just meant, like, all of West Virginia, like, different other teams. I mean, like, do you guys have any state titles, anything of that nature, or... I don't really know too much about the high school, because we're not connected with it. Like, the high school and the middle school team, they're, like, they're both uh, uh, weird. Like, they're both weird teams, but we're not, like, we don't travel with them, we don't practice with them. No, you're different yeah. schools. So, are you going to be going on to the high school team? Yeah. Did they tell you that already? No, but wrestling isn't a you try out thing. What do you mean? You can just join the team? You can just join the team. And you can stink and be on the team? That's not making sense now. No, they don't like... If you stink, they won't wrestle you. That's the thing. You can practice... If you stink, they won't wrestle you. So, like, there was, like, me and a few other people, like, two other people, we all weighed 138. And my coach was like, all right, you two are going to wrestle, and then whoever wins that is going to wrestle this person. So you... And then uh, the loser... And the other loser also wrestles. So you just you constantly wrestle each other over and over to see who the best is. Hey, I I won, I won against this guy and this guy. This guy lost to me twice. This guy lost to me twice. I'm better. I'm wrestling. They're not. Do you? So you only really there's, there's such a small school. You told me you had 800 people in your school, correct? I think uh, in I high think. school too, or more or less. Uh, I don't know about Probably the high school. Less. I'm just talking about the middle school. Just the middle right. school. The reason I'm only asking is because I had 5,000 people in my high school. <sighs> So that is crazy. yeah, we had some professional athletes come out of our school. Uh, very big people, French Montana, and you probably heard of uh, uh, what's her name, Cardi B. Yeah, she was in my school, not Excellent. with me, of course. Bobby that's, Bonilla. That's kind of weird. Yeah, well, no, it's just it, if you look at Lehman High School, you'll see my name on there too. Lehman High School. Lehman High School. I'll keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. In the Bronx, they have Lehman the High School, and they oh. have Larry Lawton as one of the. Uh, notable alumni they call it or so uh they and they have other couple guys there i i didn't know that until somebody uh out there told me he says larry you're on this you know website i didn't know that uh only reason i say that is because when you do things then you get in a bigger pool of people so it becomes tougher now when you fight as a wrestler in your school do you keep fighting the same guys uh no the lightest weight class can wrestle with the heaviest weight class we every, everyone wrestles everyone I don't care if you're a 250 pound guy. You're wrestling our 90 pounder. We don't care. Uh, if come on, I mean, no, they, they can't do no, that. they did I'm that. I'm 250. I, they 90 did that. pound, I'll sit on him. No, I've wrestled a 250 pound guy. I can take him down. I I can. I have. I have Ashton. Like uh, he must be people. really bad. No, if you shoot, uh, once, I know it if I get a is. blast, if I get a perfect blast double, I'm knocking you down. I don't care who it is in front of me if they're standing. If I get a perfect blast double, you're laying down. You shoot, it's called shooting. If you shoot shoot at me, you're not going to get me down because I'm not an idiot. But anyway, I'm not going to get into Oh, yeah, wrestling. like sprawling and stuff like that. But, yeah, yeah I, I've also been doing grappling sports since I was, like, seven. Though. That's good. I'm proud of you. You keep doing it. If, do you like it? I mean, do you want to do it all the way up? Now, if you want to go to college as a wrestler, let's say, which is good, you have to have grades, you know. 
Yeah. You don't just... You could be the greatest wrestler in the world. If you have terrible grades, they will say, screw you, guy. Yeah, yeah. and, and you got to think about that. I yeah, mean, I you should think about that. I do. Because, I mean, at what point do you say to yourself, you know, listen, you're a very smart young man. I know you pretty well. Yeah. Uh, but I was like you a lot. I was a street smart kid. The you actual know, school smart stuff, like, the reason I failed was kind of because I didn't try. Cause of like, course. The, so, like, like, the middle school, like, me and my friend Israel, we would mess around all day because the, the teachers didn't care. We had multiple teachers who would legit let us skip class and go to their classroom and just chill just to get out of class. Because they don't want you to disrupt the whole class, probably. No, like, I, like, mean, I don't like, know it the was, reasons. It was... Me, me and him, me and my friend Israel. So we, we, you get iPads, all right. We, we, our school, we got iPads. What do you mean you get? The school gives you an the iPad. The school will give you an iPad that you use for all of your electronic work, and you get to use that from like, uh, fit, I don't, I didn't, we didn't have the uh, iPads in elementary school. We had these little laptop things. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me they give you an iPad? You could take it home. Uh, during COVID, you could, and if you want to take it home, you have to ask. You have to be like, "Hey, can I take this home?" And you're not allowed having games on it. I was just gonna ask: Is it restricted from websites and all that kind of stuff? Yes and no. Like me and Israel were good with computers and stuff like that, so we pff, took everything off. You <laughs> we figured out ways around. We, we, it. we reset it, and they used the same password for everything, so we unlocked the whole iPad. I reset it and made it like my home iPad. I could FaceTime on it. I could do whatever. So when you give it back, did you put it back? To yeah, work? we just you just reset the iPad and then you give it back to them and they go, "Why is it reset?" Be like, "I don't know. The, the year's ended. Here you go." And you told me to reset. And, and then when they log back, in, like when they log in after it's reset, since you since you reset everything, everything's gone. It's back to the school iPad. They're like, "Oh, okay." They take it. <laughs> oh, so you so what they do on there? You can actually follow your grades and everything. Yeah, like I can go and check my grades. I can email people. Like so, what I did was I connected it to my phone, and me and Israel would text all day, and we'd be like, "Hey, meet in the bathroom this time, or meet in the gym room this time," because the gym teachers they liked us, so we could chill in their classroom. So what we would do is we'd just walk in in the middle of gym class, and other kids would be like, "Why are they in here?" The teacher would be like, "I don't care," <laughs> and then we we. Sometimes we would be in the gym class all day, so we did gym with all the grades, the uh, the fifth grade, the sixth grade, the seventh so, grade, and eighth. And the teachers just let you stay there? They don't care. Wow, that's not sounding like it's a very high-end school, I'll tell you that. I, I mean, I, that's not what I'm I'm seeing that. It's not like, wow. Yeah, a few of the teachers, they don't really care. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how crazy that is, to be honest with you. I mean, I, don't, I can't see how uh, a person would do that. You know, I mean, listen. Teachers are teachers, and, and enough. Your grades are bad, though, you told me. Yeah. So what do you? what's your plan? Are you going to get them up or what? For high, for high school, like, if you fail, you fail. Middle school, if you fail, they don't care. You're going they, on to the next grade. Got, yeah, so, no. like, like, I could have all Fs every single year. And, and you move on. And, like, because I passed this, the, the state test or whatever. No, I don't know if it, if it actually counts, but the state test and, like, all, like, the tests, like, the star math, like the big tests, those are the only tests I try, I try on. And, and and what does your dad say or mom say about your bad grades? They're just like, I'm no, pa- they, I know I'm your like, parents don't like they yeah, don't no, care. No, no, they no, care. No, they do care, but it's like they don't they don't know what to do because I'm like I'm not I'm not getting suspended. I'm not doing anything. Like I'm not. They're acting like it's not the worst, the worst thing that I've ever done. Because, like, it's not like I'm bad at home. It's not like I'm being rude to the teachers or anything. It's not like I'm failing, like, repeating the grade. Like, because, like, my state tests and all that stuff, it shows I'm above average. So oh, they're, they're, I, like, they're like, oh, okay, whatever. Let them pass on. And, the, like, my principal, she called me, and they're like, how are your tests like this, but your grades like this? And they're like, it don't make sense. And, and, and she's okay with all that. I mean. They're yeah. not okay with it, but they don't. I, I get I get a hundred percent what you mean. Yeah, I don't know how to really explain it. They they want me to do better, but I'm not repeating the grade and I'm not like being acting terrible or anything. Oh, uh, well, listen, you shouldn't. Obviously, I don't think you should uh, be stupid about certain things and and uh, uh, just take your grades. I did see it. I, I don't want to sit here and sound like a hypocrite. Because when I was younger, I didn't care, and I was very smart. Uh, I used to carry a piece of paper in my back pocket, like a loose-leaf piece of paper, 
And that was my books for the whole day. I mean, that's how good I was. I mean, if I wanted, I used to cut and then be able to go in for one day, talk to a kid or whoever, and pass that class. Literally, if I wanted well, to. Well, like, my buddy... We is, didn't have you two. No, my buddy Israel, he has good grades, but he just gets it from us. Like, he is... I'm smarter than... I'm actually smart compared to him, but he has good grades, so it's super confusing. Like, I'm no, he, a lot... He applies I'm a lot, himself. No, but. it's not that. It's not that he applies himself. It's he gets answers from everyone in his class. For so, He's got... The people that you want in your class for answers and stuff like that, that are willing to give you answers, he's got all of them. And he does worse than you. No, he does. He has all passing grades because he just goes in the back and says, hey, what's the answer? So oh, the, girl, the girls will give him the answers. Yeah, He's cheating. Okay, yeah. listen, I'm, I'm sure that goes on everywhere. I'm not here to judge it. Let's get on to some more social issues that I wanted yeah, to ask you up? about at 14 years old. Uh, what do you think of police officers? Police officers? There's a lot of stuff going on with them about some being like them being, oh, all police officers are racist. I don't think all cops are racist, obviously. I don't either, of course. Like, I never talked about even racist, period. Uh, I, I'm, I'm saying this, this is the, I'm saying this is the thing, from, from my perspective, what I see is the police are like, oh, they're right now, and even before, this was even a few years ago, they were saying, oh, defund the police, police are racist, all this other stuff, and... Well, defund the police was a bad, bad marketing move by the, the I guess, the the people who's talked about defund. How can you defund the police? How can you not pay? the? In fact, I believe in giving more money to police. Yeah. But I also um, believe in police officers being more socially connecting. I don't like police yeah. when they come up to kids and try to buffle or bully them. Uh, but a yeah. police officer shouldn't be talked to disrespect. If I was a yeah. cop and you talked to me like that, I'd, I'd knock the shit out of you. You know me. <laughs> yeah. But I, I believe a yeah. cop should be more. Because most of the time when like people bring up like cops and stuff like that, almost all the time it's with them being racist or something like that. Like, or that's, a, that's, that's a lot a lot of talk that I hear about cops and like see them online and stuff like that is, oh, my God, one did this, one did that, one did that. And like, you know, I, I, I get there, are, there may be some, but I'm not saying all cops are like that. I, oh, I wanted I wanted to be a cop when I was when I was younger and like that. Do you want to be a cop today? No, no. Is, and why? I mean, honestly, because society is kind of treats them like trash. A lot of you the know, time. It, 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 it's I think it's sad. Not 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 that you don't want to be a cop, of course. No, yeah, uh, it's just like what I believe in, in, in is. Listen, there's good and bad in everybody. If you take a thousand people, there's going to be bad apples. Where and now you have a police department with 150 cops right here. Out of that 150 cops, there's going to be bad cops. 100%. Now there's going to be a lot of good cops. And here's what happens with the media. The media it only sees the bad. Yes, now, I know, exactly. And that is wrong. But I'm not, I'm not sticking up for cops because the cops themselves have to police their own. Yeah. And that is the that, big that, that I get that with like, um, like also with basic training and stuff like that. Some of the stuff I think is going to work. Well, yeah, they don't get enough training. I'm going to be bringing on a friend of mine who's a, a, a state trooper. State trooper. And uh, we're going to be talking about policing and stuff like that. That's why I want to hear what he has to say about young people. Uh, he actually uh, actually texted me and called me, and he said, hey, lad, your videos help me a lot because I start treating people differently. Since, since watching your videos, you know, I understand that nobody's better than anybody, that we're yeah. all human beings. I always want to get to young people and tell them, hey, listen, no matter what you do, you, you do bad things. You run from the cops. We all did. <laughs> Everybody does all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And that's okay. <laughs> uh, and I listen, I get it. Now, to talk, let's say a cop catches you. You know, when I was younger, we had cops that we knew. Now, they would see us coming home and we were, let's face it, drunk. They would take our keys, bring us home, and give the keys to your parents and say, if I see him out again, Miss Lawton, he's going to jail. Now you're getting a beating at home, and you, you know you got to go get your car the next day and everything else, and, and you, what happened and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I believe in that because you didn't get a record out of it. You know, uh, young people, you talked to me one time, Dane, about you going to house parties and, and crazy stuff, which is... The backwoods houses. The backwoods crazy. houses. What do you? Why do you call them backwoods houses? Because the only thing that they would smoke there is backwoods, and behind the house is all woods. <laughs> uh, you, 
Is that like garbage weed? Is that what that means? I no, don't know. No, like, like beh- behind the house is literally like 40 acres of just woods. Of woods. So just, w- just woods behind them. And then all they smoke there are, you know, the like the backwoods, like the rolling papers and stuff like that. You're in the old time, what I grew up with. All they're smoking is backwoods <laughs> at that house. I, I still don't know what backwoods is. Maybe, maybe young people. Uh, okay, so like a uh, rolling paper. Like leaves, like stuff like that. I don't know. It's like um, a Swisher Sweet, like with um, weed in it. Yeah, like back backwards is just a paper. Like that's backwards. Okay. Backwards. Uh, do you smoke a, weed? I have. <laughs> you have. Don't. I don't mean. Listen. Everybody knows me on this show. I am very pro drugs. Pro. Not to you. <laughs> yeah. Not. Not and, to me. And here is why. And people can like it or dislike it. The reason I don't want to be a. Uh, 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 to you your brain is developing a yeah. lot of people don't know that young people don't come at me because i'm gonna get email also your short no your short-term memory it um we completely destroys your short-term memory and that's why it a lot kills of brain cells yeah you don't kinda. need to start doing that until you're older yeah i mean when you're older i, I don't care what that. you do yeah your brain doesn't stop developing until you're 25 that's true now. it's about right 25 in a male and 23 in a female yep. and it's not my numbers but no, science. and I'm not again. Science I'm, numbers, <laughs> and again, I'm not. I'm not knocking kids who do. Everybody does. They try. They this, but I don't want to see you get hooked or, or or not marijuana, obviously. But I don't want to see you get hooked on a drug that can really hurt you. Yeah, so I'm sure I, you've seen your share of that. Yeah. So what a lot of people do in like my area, and a lot of people know about it too, which is like yeah, I'm sure. my buddies do it. So like. I know, I know you might have, you might say it's kind of stupid or whatever. People have had their own don't things. Worry, I don't so, yeah. so tea, br- tea, tea breaking. If let's, let's say I'd smoke a, I'd smoke a, a dab yeah. pen. Dab, you- let's say, let's say I'd smoke a dab pen, which is a lot, has a lot higher THC concentrate than right. regular wheat. Once you do that for so long, three hits aren't going to get you high. Then you need five. Then you need six. Then you need seven, like, or a certain time. Once you get to that point, you take a break for like a week or two weeks to a month. Take a tea oh, break. Then, and then you get, yeah. Right. And then the second you smoke again, you're going to get that same exact back feeling. So like people in my area, like they would smoke for a week, go off for a week. Or like they'd smoke a little, wait a few weeks or wait a few days, smoke a little. Wait, like they'd tea break it so you don't. Have to what take is it called? Tea breaking. Tea breaking. So you're like, taking but that's a tea actually break. very smart. And yeah. You know so what that so does you, you, too? you also do that just so like, if you it's like if I I know if I smoke a cart for a month straight and a I what? hit a cart, THC dab pen, a cart is a cartridge. Cartridge. Also not short cart. Wow. See, we're learning people. Dab pen. Yeah. All that. If I hit that for a month straight, like thirty hits a day, forty hits a day. One, I'm gonna kill it super fast. Two, I'm not gonna get like. Full effects. And you also, sound like you've done also this. Also, have. Also, I, like, you don't want to go to other things. You don't want to have the feeling like, oh, my God, this doesn't work anymore. I have to move on to something else because I'm like, I, I don't want to be able to. No. Yeah, good no, for no, you. Nothing, nothing. Listen, good. but you got to even check. You know, the one good thing I'm going to give you kudos for doing is I often tell young people, stop something for three weeks. Like, if you have a habit. If you think you have a habit, if you're smoking weed a lot, stop it. And if you can't stop it. Don't when, make it a habit. That's, no. That's if, awesome. you, you hear me out. When a young friend comes to you and says, hey, Dane, I got this good stuff, this cush stuff. Let's go. You, if you say yes, then you got a problem because you can't control your own own word. If you say to yourself, without telling your friends, get up in the morning one day, and I do this as an adult. And I'll say, I'm not going to smoke weed for three weeks. or I'm not going to have a drink for three weeks. I'm not going to do something for three weeks. When I do that, once I do that, if no matter who comes up to me and says, hey, lad, let's party. I just say, nah, I'm not, I'm not feeling yeah, great. Yeah, self-control. So mm-hmm. It is very important that you know that you can withstand that peer pressure. You can withstand uh, anybody telling it. Because the minute you say, ah, I'll start over. Don't worry about it. It's not... No, no, that's the biggest problem. And young people, obviously, you experiment a lot, and you don't have. But what I'm trying to express to young people, even who listen to this show, please, if you have that issue, go to somebody. Even you, Dane, you could talk to me and say that you know, hey, Larry, I don't want to talk to my dad. I want to. I'm not. I'm not going to go around your dad. I'll make sure I talk to him. You know how I talk to him the right way. But uh, I want to make sure that. 
people know that they can talk to someone. It's so much better to talk to your dad or someone. Get yelled at for something stupid. I hope the parent doesn't. <coughs> Through peer pressure? Is that, no, is that no, no. Of? I'm cool. Sorry. I want your I'm parents not to yell at you like, like you're the biggest evil person in the world. Yeah. I want them to educate you. You know, every opportunity for a parent is education. Even me as now, I have grandkids getting older, eight years old. I, that, that I kind of see. So like, <coughs> I'm not downing on my parents at all. I love my mom and my dad a hundred percent. I know you do. They are amazing. But go when ahead. I, when I first started doing that, when I started like, when I first started I, I I think I hit like a vape or something like that at like nine or eight or something like that. Really, really. Who gave you that? <laughs> Kid down the road. <laughs> One of your friends at the same age or give or take age. A little bit older. A little tiny bit older. Then maybe he's 10, 11, and you're nine. 13. He's 13 and you're nine. Yep. Okay, four or years. Something around there. Yeah, 13. And, and he gives you something a, like that. He gives a nine year old a dab pen. No, vape. A vape. Nicotine. Oh, nicotine. Okay. Nicotine vape. Here, nicotine vape. That's bad too. Very, that's, that's, very that's, addictive. That's, that's even... A lot of... Might, some people might say different than me. I think if you're smoking... <coughs> if you're smoking multiple cigarettes a day versus someone who smokes... A, no, I'm not saying... like If someone smokes a whole pack of cigarettes versus a whole pack of joints, it's a lot different. But yeah, also, I say... Worse. Yeah, but... Even nicotine one, even uh, I, I, I think I, I think it's just a lot better if you would stick to like. I'm not saying weed's better than nicotine, but from my views, like the down. Like I mean, the, you could have yeah, your the, the, the on effects it, it and be. stuff like that. Also, like <coughs> the quick buzz for a few for like a few seconds off of vape or something like that is not worth getting gum disease and lung disease and all that stuff over. You know, you're looking at me, right? 60 I'm um, yeah. 62 years old. Did you know I never in my life smoked a cigarette or a vape in my life at 62 ever? That's, and I grew up in the era that's <coughs> where smoking was normal. I mean in the house and stuff, it was like just a normal thing. Everybody yeah. did. Uh and I never did. That's, and I just happened to never I don't get me wrong, I've done every drug in the book. <laughs> But and I'm not promoting any of that. Uh, I always say that I think young people have to wait. And and I know a lot of young people say, "Come on, lad, it's bullshit." You know, I'm on Twitch. Did you know I twitched the last few nights? You, I, I we were talking. We're going to talk about that in the, a minute. We're going to talk about that. In the a night that Noah was over here after after the podcast and everything, we were talking about we were talking about my we, favorite streamers. We were talking. Yeah. Yes, we were talking that. about all that. You yeah. and I. And, and your brother and uh i ended up nick and i i have a twitch i got about 1500 uh, followers uh in, in a couple of days whatever it is that's, i don't know what it nice. is and you know when you get 50 people on there or whatever i don't know if that's good or bad i don't know was that your first stream ever yeah 50 60 was the top or something nick that's, said that's unbelievably great for your first stream ever ever you're, you're like for your first stream ever you're usually supposed to have like one real person and then like one bot. I don't do that. I never. Uh, no, no, no. A bot, thing. a bot. Sorry, a bot isn't something that you buy. It's something that like if you're getting zero, if you're getting zero viewers, Twitch and like other stream thing sites will be like, I'm sorry, we'll give you one bot and like you'll have a bot viewing your stream, but they won't chat or do anything. It just says one person's in your stream and they don't do anything. It's like a fake bot, pretty much saying, uh, "Hey, you mean Twitch does that?" Yeah. And if you, like, <coughs> when I used to have my Xbox, when there were streaming sites on there. Oh, sorry about it. No, you're fine. When there were streaming sites on there, they also did that. They'd give you, like, a bot or something like that. Pretty much like, hey, we feel bad. You're getting zero viewers. Here's a bot. Really? I didn't know how that worked. Well, so, sometimes they did that. I don't know if they do that no, anymore, but they did that. I mean, I, I went on there, and we just did, I went in a talk chat. And then last night, I actually, for, <coughs> for uh, I was on for three hours. The first night was five hours. Crazy. And then the next night was almost three, and I ended up doing a, a GTA review of a, of a heist. You're, um... <coughs> you got to follow me. I will. So, like, for... Re, it's called uh, Larry Lawton Jewel Thief. Larry Lawton Jewel Thief. All you right. got to go on Twitch. Okay. Get your brother so and guys. You're, you're, uh... <coughs> and I go late at night, you know. Yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I got to, I got to really, I was went to the doctor. I got a bronchitis. You know what bronchitis is? 
everyone in Weirton has that. My entire family got that. My friend's family got that. Like, everyone has that right now. All of them got inhalers over there for it. Like yeah, the I mean, that, yeah. I'm having it, too. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It's like a butyl sulfate or something like that. It's just a... Yeah, it's just, it just inhales. Yeah, yeah, through you. <clears throat> I get it. I just went and I got some medicine and stuff like that. I just don't like to take it right now because it's gonna put me out. Nyquil? No, I have Nyquil or too. Dayquil? But I'm talking, I have Dayquil. Uh, but even I have the real good stuff from the doctor. But and and I got steroids that'll help me do. I, I I hate Nyquil so much. <laughs> yeah, that'll put you out. No, not just because of that. You know, just, we used to. I have, you so know, I, have, I had a me- I have a memory with Nyquil that is horrible, and it's like you should never do it. Ever. Like, you could die. You could die from doing it. Like, it's just horrible. Well, obviously, you probably did that because you wanted to do lean. No. You know what lean, lean is? Yes, I know what lean Don't is. Don't do codeine. that crap. Yes, I know. It. It's codeine mixed with soda or whatever you want to oh, put yeah, in there, Gatorade, um, or, and it's terrible. It's codeine and cough syrup. Yeah. Yeah, it's for pain and stuff like that. And it's Well, lean is, it. the kids are making lean, and they're putting that. Well, they're putting, that's fake lean. That's not real. That's, like, that's that's fake stuff. That's not going to get you. Oh, they get them high with Well, it stuff. technically, it does because of the DXM in it, and that's called robo-tripping. Is that what that's called? See, robo-tripping. Look at this. I'm so learning, here. people. So here, there was a cough medicine. I don't know if you want to get that one over there, but that, that one right there, you can see on the back, it has like 10 to 20 milligrams of DXM in it. Yeah. Per, per. Okay. And what is DMX? Uh, DX, it's DXM or whatever. I don't know. You don't know the neck. I don't know. The, name. It's like <clears throat> dextro, dextro It's like dextro triple mi- myphene, dextro yeah. triple okay. or something like that. And there was an old cough med that you could buy in it. And it was called a Robo Trip, and it had like four hundred milligrams of just DXM. And that that would high? that would make you tr- kind of like an acid trip. Two hundred milligrams of DXM is like a regular acid trip. 400 really? is like a more intense, like, yeah. So, well, what they do in prison when they used to have it, they did it away. <laughs> you take loaves of bread, you take slices of bread, yeah, you pour it through the bread and it drips down, and the bread acts as a filter and it takes alcohol. It would have pure alcohol on the bottom, you'd see it all be green, and then on the bottom, it'd be clear alcohol. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a clearest, like, why does she act? Oh, you know okay. about moonshine. You come from that area, man, West Virginia. Oh, my, I think it was my great-great-grandpa was like the first or third most wanted in the United States for selling moonshine. For moonshine? Yep. That is crazy. I have family members who still make moonshine. Really? Well, I, mean, I think you could make your own and it would be all right, but once you sell it or something like that. Yeah, it, well, it distributing of... Because it's alcohol, without a license yeah. and all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, because FDA and stuff like that. Uh, not just FDA, there's a lot of reasons. I know, just alcohol, all that, tobacco, just the alcohol. Whatever. Sorry, yeah, alcohol, tobacco, whatever. But FDA's too, because it's, it's it, you can, you can, what people don't know is the FDA is called the Food and Drug Administration. What they really do is protect us from getting salmonella and all the, the, the foodborne illnesses that happen when you yeah. have unregulated and dirty stuff and everything else goes along with that. So are you okay? Let's get into something that I am into because okay. you know I I like gaming too. I'm getting better at gaming. Okay, uh, gaming. I'm not that great. Obviously, I know a lot of people, so when I go online, I can yes. get friends. You can get friends. Are they good? <laughs> uh, good. I good. once went into a GTA game. Yeah, and uh, I was with my good friend uh, Kevin, whose his, his name on online you might even know. It's called Expert Thief. He's got 5.8 million people, 5.8 million subscribers. That's crazy. And Kevin is, uh, you know, it, that's what he does, GTA. Yeah. And when Kevin gets me, we, we collaborated on something. Kevin's a good friend of mine. I'm one of his mentors. He's, he's a great young man. He's 30-something. He's very good. And we went in, and when I go in, people want to just kill me or whatever. <laughs> and people get, immediately go in for you. They gone if I was, was Kevin took to care an, of that. Should have went to an invite only server. Yeah, Kevin took care of that. We ended up getting a hit squad, uh, and we put hits on the people, and they were going into other games and getting these people. <laughs> so these people really ran after the wrong guy, and they would say, "Please stop these people!" Whatever right game I go in, they kill me. Yeah, and, when, when that <laughs> happens to me, I just go to a private session. Like I just go. Do you do a lot of gaming yourself? I haven't been. Are like, you I, good at? Were I'd, you say, good I'd say I'm decent. <clears throat> yeah, what game did you play? What games do I play? Is yeah, because I want to know what yeah. to go on and play on, on Twitch. I don't know. Do Here. you do Twitch? I don't do Twitch. 
You don't, but you knew all about it. Yeah, because I watch it and stuff like that every so and so. So you watch Twitch, but you don't get to play it. No. <clears throat> but you'd watch I me. I don't hear. So, like, I don't. If you stream a mainstream game, which is Call of Duty, GTA, Rainbow Six Siege, Fortnite, the big games, you know what I'm talking about? Sure. The big games. You are not going to be popular unless you are insanely good. That's one thing. Okay, I got to remember that. Unless you are giving something like you're funny. Like, you, if you're absolutely terrible at the game, you better be the funny... Like, you better be interesting. Like, you have well, to... Well, like, my stories. Yeah, stories. Like, you better be funny. You better be live with the chat. Like, it can't just be like, hey, guys, I'm playing this game today. Like, you're going to get no attention. If you suck at the game, make it really funny, suck. <laughs> Do you know who Sketch is? <laughs> yes, I know who Sketchers is, yes. You know, Sketch actually was on... He Sketchers. reviewed a game uh, that I did. He reviewed Jubilee rankings. Special teams. Special teams, special players. <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday. The uh, Sketch <laughs> actually was talking about me on a... on a. He was reviewing a Jubilee when they were, we were a bunch of convicts on it. And it's a very big show. It's called... Uh, just let everybody know. It was called Jubilee Rankings. If you go on YouTube, they got 9 million subscribers. They're a very big show. Yeah. And they do show... My show that I was on with them, million views in three weeks, two weeks, whatever it is. Anyway, Sketch reviewed it. And he goes, Larry. Oh, my God, Larry. He goes, we're lovers. We're going to be lovers. He's funny. He's good. You know, he was just, you know, <laughs> busting my chop. I'm going to try to do a collab with him. We'll have a lot of fun, I'll bet. That, He's funny. That would be... Epic. Everyone would watch that. He is like one of the biggest things right now. Him, Neon, all those guys. Oh, yeah. You got, of course, Kai and Aiden Kai Ross. Kai Sinat, Aiden Ross. Well, Neon's super big right now. Neon? Yeah, Neon. Oh, I know who he is. Yeah, Neon. Yeah, that's big. the little kid. Like, uh, He's not a kid. He's about 19 He's now. like 19 or something, and he has a buzz cut. And he was the, he, he, made, he had like a Twitch stream where his girlfriend or his ex or whatever made like $100,000 or something like that. And he was like, oh, my God, she made more than me. She made more than me. Sure, women. Uh, yeah. But I, you know, what we have, just so you know on Twitch, I have a girl crew coming on with me. Girl crew, okay. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're, we're discussing how to do things. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. And uh, they, 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 her name is La uh, Lady Death, uh, Lady Death something. She's great. A uh, good friend. She comes here. Uh, we hang out, and uh, she's young, and her and a friend, another girlfriend that I have that that that's gonna be. We're gonna have a lot of fun on that game, and we're gonna have our own crew to go out and see <laughs> and crew. stuff like that. And we have to like get you in on a, one of our crew, and I'll make a crew up so people want me to do that. So <laughs> I think be it'd fun. be fun. Do you think we'll do good on Twitch? Do I think you'll? Do you think I'll do this? good on Twitch? Yes. If you continue to be interesting, if you continue with the stories. Also, you don't want to, here, you don't want to say the same story. If you're going to tell stories, don't tell the same ones over and over again. But also remember, you have new So you viewers. have to tell them occasionally. Yeah, like like if you if it's, a, if it's a really, really funny story, don't overuse it. But remember, you have new, like, hey, this you could have a new follower today. Let's say you've been streaming for three years. He just saw your content. And he hears, he hears one joke. And like, hey, you're out of jokes or you're out of stories because you've been saying them all. How's he supposed to know? Hey, this guy has this interest, interesting story. I, I like this story. Or like, I like this. So I could, while I'm playing, I could stop and tell one of my crazy stories. I don't know tortured. if I'd stop, but like, let's say, I don't really know. Some of them are deep stories. You know mine. Yeah. I don't, I don't know about super, super deep stories. Like, get out of the game completely. Like, let's no. say something funny happens in a game, or you see the same car, or like, let's say... Oh, I have so many stories about when we rob cars. Yes, stuff, it's right? like all about stuff. You can tell that stuff as, like... I'm playing it. As you're playing it. Like, if you're driving a car, or like, if you're driving somewhere, or forever's, because, like, there's all different cars in the game. Oh, I know. I could just talk somewhere. about... I could drive around and talk about stories and places yeah, I've been you could, to. you could... I kid, you could make like a story night, like Saturday night story night, where you just drive around and you tell stories in a private server in different cars. Not a private. Why wouldn't I just do it right on a live stream? No, no, no. By private server, I meant on the GTA. On GTA, because if you have, a, if you're in a public server, like kids are going to try to explode your car. No, you. no, no, no. Oh, I got you. I got you. So I have to be where no one can do that to me. 
Yeah, well, I would do if you're going to do something like well, that. I don't mind, but maybe I'll get in that God. You know, they put it in God mode, I think it's called, or something. Mm-hmm. What is it? God mode? It's, uh, I forget. Wait, it's, I can't it's, die. It's ghost mode or incognito mode to where you, um, your guy, you can't shoot any guns. Oh, no, no I one, can do everything, but I can't die. I don't that's know. About called that. God that's called God mode. The, oh, that, yeah, that's uh, for um, like GTA modded and stuff like that. Oh, that's mods. I got yeah, yeah they mod the game. Okay. Yeah. If you're just playing regular and you want to do like a story night, I would just drive around. Or if you want to, if you have like all mods and stuff like that. Have what? If you have the mods and stuff like that to where you can customize like your GTA stuff, which you guys should definitely be able to do that yeah. stuff. Um, I would just make it night, make your guy God, and just drive around and tell stories for two hours. Oh, no, I could do that and have a lot of fun could, doing you, that. You could do that and have a lot of fun doing that. Like, you could also just... Talk about the cars I own. Talk about the cars you own. You could take a... You could steal a jet and drive it around and be like, all right, so today, this is what I did. No, <laughs> I, I could even do that when I was on a jet. Yeah. Yeah, a private jet with somebody in it, and it was crazy stuff. Was, I get wild stories, too. I have crazy stories. I have to watch myself. Am I, you are allowed to curse on Twitch, right? I believe... Is there anything I have to know about Twitch from your your end that you would know? And I just you, what do you music, th- music, copyrighted music. Oh, you cannot put copyright. They can copyright you so fast. Like, and will they? Is, yes, it is bad. Like more than like three seconds in Twitch. Yeah, Twitch. You, you sure that? Twitch is will copyright you. Fast. I know YouTube copyright you immediately. YouTube will copyright you, but it can also that can take a minute. Like you could post it, and it could take a day, and then they shadow ban your video or whatever. Like Twitch, they'll we go, would shadow ban once. They, they'll shut you down. Be like copyright, Tunk, gone. Yeah, we were shut down. As a matter of fact, the only reason we knew we was we were shadow banned too much about is that. because uh, yeah, don't worry about it. We, we the reason we know about that I was shadow banned is because we had from people saying, "Hey, listen, I have notifications on everything, and I don't, I never saw you pop up. It's not coming up." Shadow man, and, and that is a thing, correct? Shadow man, yeah. Shadow man is a thing. You, you know, I thought it wasn't a thing. They say, oh, it's not a thing. Oh no, you can get shadow banned, and you they won't. say it's not a thing. No, it, it's, it's a hundred percent a thing. So many people have got shadow banned. It's just for showing stuff on YouTube, like that you're not supposed to, I guess. Right, and, and you know, or I, they'll age restrict your video. I think there's you have a few videos that are age restricted. Mine have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like you have multiple videos that are age-restricted. Also, I, I'm pretty sure your second channel is age-restricted. I don't know, though. This one, yes. Yeah, totally. I'm pretty sure this one's age-restricted. Totally, but we don't worry because we're sponsored, and we're not worried about Yeah, that. well, age-restricted doesn't really matter. It just pretty much means, hey, you have to sign into a Google, sign into a YouTube account and watch the video. Hey, do you, I'm sure you get around that real easy. I have a YouTube account. I have, yeah, so yeah. you can go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. The... Uh, and is there any other suggestions you give a guy like myself or Twitch? Right. Just have fun. Like, hmm. you know, I, I, I'd say I'm, I'd say don't don't get too into the audience to where you're not even focused on the game at all. Like if you're just talking to the audience and your game is sitting there and if your audience is having a good time, perfectly fine to do that. If your audience is like, hey, where's the gameplay at? Yada yada yada. Right. So so stick with the game itself. How well, often also, should also, I twitch? I mean, I, every other day, every three days, every one, uh, day, you know, I mean, uh, does it doesn't matter. You can find out what's good for you because some people, some sometimes it's a lot like yada, yada, yada. What? No, like, you, you made no sense. Here, 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 okay, so like. Try to explain to me an older guy, you know, what we put on there, if you look up at today, 62-year-old ex-mobster okay, so. plays GTA <laughs> or 62-year-old mobster uh, uh, jumps on Twitch or something. Right, Ex-Joel ex Thief, ex-Joel Thief heist in GTA. If you did something like that and you commentated on like a heist, like a, if you did a heist in GTA or you did multiple heists and you're an ex Convict and high that's what I did. People would love that. I'd well, like I have one like on that. online. It's got seven million views. When I did that on YouTube, I, re- I reviewed a GTA game and it's got seven point seven million views. I think something of that nature. It's, it's up there, way way up there. And uh, that was me telling them how wrong these things. You know, I did that yesterday. They, these games are so not realistic. I could make yeah. a game that would be. Unbelievably, I've thought this through. Yeah, I know. I've thought this through. How I I have, I have. 
Have I mean, to. literally, where if you if you drove wrong, somebody would notice you, and then they would pick you out of a lineup. You'd lose at the end if you went away the wrong way. And, and, and I you, want like here, like you know what I mean? Where we can a, do points, create or, a heist game. <laughs> oh, Dude, I that, could be. I, that would be that would be good because there's no realistic heist games. Also. I would be good at that. Here, here's here's the it. most annoying thing in almost every single game. No game has like realistic features, as in this might sound a little like gory or whatever. It doesn't really matter. Like the shooting in all games, none of it is like GTA. If I GTA, if I shoot someone in their foot, they're dead. I'm like, I could yeah. literally. I'm like, it makes no sense. That won't work. Like that. Well, see another thing. Last night I said first words out of my mouth. It's coming out. It's on a video now. It's coming out Sunday. All right. So you can watch the video watch of the video. me. <laughs> and the video is, you know, the first thing I start watching the game and I go, this guy already just started to kill two people. So now he's not a thief, he's a murderer. Why do you do that? You don't need to do it. He turned around and killed people when he didn't need to kill them. You're not getting points for that. I'm not you know what I'm saying? I mean, I can make a I realistic get, no, I game. Get, I get what you're saying. I'm just like, I don't understand why if it's I, if it's just for the heist i mean i, guess I can the make fun part, really really good realistic games where we can grade them with points and mm. let's see who's the real criminal let's see who's the real who thinks the most let's see oh, who yeah, that like, like if if you if you miss a turn or if you blow a red light like hey people are suspicious and that, now your car now your car's already got a picture of it and then like Bingo! If, now if, if, you, if know, you see if you see this car here and here and here outside all these jewelry places, and then they're gone out of nowhere, like hey, like a real thinking mind game where every single decision changes the outcome. Uh, that is the game That's, I could yeah. develop because I mean nobody knows that business better than I do. I mean I robbed fifteen, eighteen million and more. Hey, Rockstar Games, we're gonna need a new game. <laughs> no, Rockstar. Uh, actually, I did a, a show with a guy who's interviewing the presidents of, of Rockstar. And he says, Larry, you need a game. There's you need no, you, you need to make a heist game. That's what they're talking about. I mean, what? You know, a, not just who's, a heist who's, game. who's a game company? We need one. Yeah, if there's a game company out there, I'll tell you what. That, that that'd be that, that, that would be, be epic. I'd I'd pay some money for that game. Oh, it, it'd be it. epic. It really would. I mean, to do it the right way to see how good it'd be and a then, way it'd be a better pay. I don't know if you know what payday is, the game. There's yeah, a game payday. called Payday. Yes, there'd be a thousand time better payday absolutely and not only that you can even extend that to go to the next step what happens when he gets caught and he goes to jail and we can keep that going another game that goes well, into getting like, caught yeah. he goes to prison i'm gonna tell him how to survive what he does in prison does he does he you get know, in trouble I, you, know, you could he, do if the second you enter prison you could be like one of the narrators like Hey, now you're in prison. Wake up. And the character gets out of bed. Like yeah, something I mean, like that. Can that, you imagine what we could do? I mean, I, I'm telling you, gaming companies. Hey, you open find, up find a eyes. gaming company. Hey, anyone? Come on. Yeah, he's right. I'm telling you, I could talk to them. They say it takes a long, long time to do It takes, games. you can take, for years. the game that you're talking about, it could take multiple, multiple years, like up to 10. Like it took a long time. For I think we could do it a lot quicker if you want. I think... I think Rockstar did that on purpose. No, no, I'm not just talking about their games. I'm talking about like other All the game. games as well. Because like yeah. to the real, to the fact like the realistic part that you want it. I'm. An, I do know a gaming company that I do business with. I'm gonna give them a call and see what they want to do. A uh, big company, very very big company, big company, and I'm gonna check them out. So, but with Easy that, way. I you know I think we're about man. We've been we've been bullshitting for a while, haven't we, man? For it's fun, right? So you're going to watch the Twitch now, right? Yes, I will watch the Yeah, Twitch. I'll bet. So everybody out there, uh, before I go with you, uh, Dean, you did have a couple of questions for me. Yep, just pop that up. All right, go ahead. Give, give me them. Give me okay, I, I answer so, questions. I don't know what they are, people. Not a clue. I don't have these in order at all. But um, one of them was, what was your most exciting heist or robbery? Robbery. Like your most exciting or like well robbery is a heist yes so rob robbery it. heist whatever like most heart exciting. pumping you're like who who like rush whatever i don't know well every one of them is a rush yeah i know every one of them is a rush but what was your like what was one that stands out that was better than all of them or like went better like what was your most favorite or exciting well i would have to say one of the better ones that i've done uh, or even crazy, like oh, oh cops uh, are right behind us. Well, no, 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 the getaway one uh, at the end, getaway one. Okay. But no, 
the probably the one I didn't do, which I'm and glad didn't I didn't do. do, where we made dynamite. We were going to kidnap the owner. Oh my. We che- we literally, I'll tell that on Twitch, <laughs> and where we actually had we were in the bushes next in to his bushes? house, and it, a dog alerted. And we oh, left. Otherwise, shit. it was that close to, to going down. And we were going to put dynamite on him and keep his pa- his wife and kid in the house and go rob it and say, if you do anything along the route with me, you know, jump out of the car, do anything, we're just going to kill those two people and we're going to blow you up. And we were going to go in before the security got in. And it was about wow. a $12 million heist alone. Just that. Now, we wow. never did it. We never did it, thank God. Because that's kidnapping, and that's a whole different animal, and there's no statute of limitation. We didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've no had, kidnapping. No, I, I've had other heists that went really quick. Like uh, we we cased the place, and the, these are great stories to tell online, yeah. wouldn't they be? Yeah. We we cased this place, and and the guy let out the trash, took that took out the trash. The place opened at ten. He got in there at nine. He he emptied. The, he would open up the. Uh, the safe, get it ready. Then he would come and empty the trash. And we timed it. When he opened the door in the trash, I, I went in. You heard that here, one, maybe. I No, not that. I like the fact that, like, I know obviously you have to be smart to do that. But you were like, like, you're... You timed out everything. You knew what time he, he went to take out the oh, trash. Was, you knew what he was doing when he was inside the building. Absolutely. You knew everything. And you had to. Absolutely. You had to. You had to exactly right. You know, if you're good, you're good. You know, it was my job. It wasn't just I'm doing this for fun. <laughs> Obviously. So, okay. Don't well, think you're next just doing question. that for fun. Okay. So, um, how many people were usually with you? <coughs> The most we ever had in one store was uh, myself and three others. And okay. the least is myself and one person. Oh, I actually did the first one myself. What was, how, like, how many how many robberies did you have in total that are accounted for by the U.S. government? 22, maybe? 22. Yeah, they're accounted for. That they know about. Okay, so. <laughs> 22, give or take. 22. I think most of the time, did you have just you and one other person, or did you have two other people? Like what? Most, most of the time, of the time it was myself and another person, and and another person maybe is the driver or getaway or uh, just to switch two things main up. people and like another backup, pretty much. Or yeah, one main person, one me, main person, and then everybody listened to what I was going to. Okay. I mean, so I, you were I, the you were the big. Oh, absolutely! I ran. You, you the were show. the king. You, you ran the, the show. I was the jefe, <laughs> as they say in Smash. The El chief. Jefe, the chief. I was the boss, and. I also took the heat. Nobody went to prison on my case. Remember that? Yes. So there's no rats. No rats. Anyways. I'm not... Listen, don't do what I did. Trust me. You're going to get caught. Yeah, you're going to get caught. You're not as smart as him. (laughs) Trust me. (laughs) So, um... Two more. Two more questions. Okay. What is something you would change about the prison system if there is anything to change about it in your perspective? Wow. Great. Great question from a young person. Uh... There's so much to change. The whole so prison system change. is broke. But I would do, first of all, they need independent oversight. And I don't mean this ACA stuff. They It's called American Accreditation Association. It's all bullshit. They know when they're coming. They, you know, give them notice. And then the prison cleans up the, you know, the whole place, paints things. They take the bad inmates and they hide them. You know, they do everything that's wrong. It's not really a good inspection. It's bullshit. Uh, I would do that, and I, I can do that for the system for I, I've free. Never, I've never for heard about free. that. The, for free, I can The do thing that. that you just said, the ACA. ACA. Yeah, accreditation. Yeah. And I would also take away private prisons. Private prisons. Yeah, they have prisons that are made for profit. In other words, it's a private company that will house the inmates, and the government gives is them a contract. Different? Is it special inmates, or what is what was no, it with these it, inmates? No, How? it's... it's, it's it's a pri- it's private prisons. You that- get sent there differently because of something you did, no, or do you have to do anything no, for it? It depends on the state you're in, and depend on or, or the place you're in. Some states have a lot of private prisons. That means they don't want to run them. They're going to give a contract. They're going to say, "Okay, here's a hundred million dollars. Run this prison for a year. You build it, you make it, you feed them, you do everything. Here's the rules. Here's the regulations." And as I'm a guessing couple, they don't follow those rules and well, regulations. Well, listen, listen. I know it's going to be hard for you as a young person to understand this, but. If you have a profit 
motive in a company? What is your motive to increase profit? Yeah, to make money. Well, how do you make money in the prison? You put more people in there. You keep them there longer. They could say they do it and they have unlimited. It's all bullshit. There is no way you can tell me that a private prison, private, which has a bottom line, when your shareholders tell you, I want to make more money, but we're doing such a good job, they're not coming back. No, then don't do such a good job. Make sure they come back. We need money. It's money driven, and do that think, is. Do what's you think wrong. that has to do with any, like? Do you think that has to do anything with police as well? Like, hey, uh, hey or put put them back in here because they did this, or with like the like no the judge, like I'm not judge system. I don't know how you'd put yeah, it. like you, the you, court judici- system, judicial the judicial system. system. Like, and hey, this guy's already been here. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna add even more years onto his thing. Well, they, that's back. laws. That's yeah. laws okay. that are passed, yeah. whether right. it's just three strike or stuff. Okay. What it is, uh, uh, Dane, is police, they need more programs. They have a few of them where the police, uh, actually the police themselves, don't arrest you. Because here's the problem. Once a police officer arrests you and you're 18, I could look you up on a computer in 10 years and say, oh, wow, he was arrested. Even if you were right. And you got out. I'm gonna think, as an employer, maybe uh, he just—he was a slick kid. He got away with it, you know. Even though maybe you didn't, you were a normal kid. So in my, I think cops need to not arrest this quick, even though they have a lot of cameras, and that's what's hurt it. They're worried about their jobs. They can't be human themselves. They can't say, "Ah, this kid don't need to be arrested," you know. He he needs a break. Or they need a, a system where they don't put them in handcuffs and put them through the process. Because once you put them through the process, I can find that. Yeah. And that's not right. Yeah. Also, with kids with bad homes, I also feel like that's with like. Bad, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's, we're, that's a whole nother. Yeah, that's a whole nother thing. I'm just also saying like with that, like. Absolutely. They might need a little bit of a. Hey. Totally. Yeah, 100%. You get what I mean. You got it. Last question. All right, I have multiple from here, so I don't know which one. Nah, I just take one more. We'll we'll do it again. Mm. You know that. I know. I'm trying to figure out. Mm. Even though I have to wait a year for you. Because you come back every year with your grandparents. You got to come back more. Don't you like Florida? I do. I'm (laughs) I'm pretty sure I'm coming back this February. It's coming February. Oh, good. Yeah. So. mm. Last question. At At a certain, like, point, did you think... Wow, I'm really in this. Like, I'm gonna get caught or anything like that. Like, were you like, like first robbery? You might have been like, ha, got away with it. No, no, no. Third, second robbery, you're like, okay, and like third, you're like, oh my god, I'm really in this. Like, if I'm no. gonna get caught or something like that, I always like knew that. I'd get caught. You get caught. Okay. Uh, I you was a caught. real criminal. I wasn't a drug addict. Was doing it for drugs. I was doing it for the money, the power, the influence. I was a you know, in the mob. Respect, so like all that. Trying to build up Yeah, but throw. nobody knew. It's not like you would know your grandfather or anybody. Yeah. I was doing it while your grandfather lived here. He didn't know. Yeah. And I had uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars in this garage. That's a studio now. It was Crazy. hidden, you know. And uh, my dad hid it, and he ended up having Alzheimer's and lost some of it, actually. But that's that's here and there. The, uh, so I always knew I would get caught, but I grew up as a criminal. And... Uh, you know, I don't have regrets about that or would it be different? Do I blame anybody? No, no, no. What I do, Dane, is accept responsibility for what I did. Yep. I know it's wrong. Everybody knows. When you do something wrong, you know it's wrong. Who knows? Yeah, accept that responsibility and then say to yourself, why did you do it? There's going to be a reason, whether it's, you know, you want to get close to people, you want to connect with friends, you want to feel fit in, you know, with younger people more. In mine, it was, you know, the money, the power, the influence. I, you know, did a lot of bad things. With that said, uh, I took responsibility for my actions, and I'm not, of course I'm not going to do that again. Uh, I live too good of a life, you know. I'm, I, I, and, yeah. I, and it has nothing to do with money. I live in this little house with my mom, you know that. So it's not like about money. It's about living the life you want to live. And yeah. You don't want to go through what I went through, obvious of torture. You know, you didn't even know all about that. You're going to hear about it on Twitch from how I got tortured in prison and, and a lot. You, of, we, literally we tortured. had, we had, we had a talk after 
I, I, I don't, I think it might have been before last year. It might have been two years ago. We had a talk about the prison system, about, about, like, so, about, the, good choices, about the worst probably. thing, about the worst thing that happened in prison and oh. what you've seen. Hmm. And you, you were letting me know some of the things that you've seen in prison, some of the things that were happening to you. And you, you never saying, forget them, do you? You were saying, no, you were saying it's like, like, Torture, like yeah. literally, like little torture. Bo- it, not, it's not borderline torture; it is torture. Total torture. Tor- total. And torture. I'm gonna. We're gonna talk a lot about that. I'm gonna do a lot of that on Twitch. I think it'd be a lot of fun. That'd be fun. But anyway, that's it. Anything you want to say to anybody out there? Nope. <laughs> nah, your girlfriend. I love you. Uh, <laughs> that's good. Hey everybody, it's Dane from West Virginia. Good young kid. He's growing up every day, and I'm watching it. And, you know, I have faith in the the youth today. I really do. A lot of people always ask me, oh, these kids today. These kids today are smart. Uh, they're smarter than we were when we were there. Getting age. smarter. Uh, yeah, you're getting smarter, but you have to also learn to learn from other people's mistakes. That's what most people don't do and we didn't. You need to look at me and say, I'm not going to do that. He went through it. Why should I? Just learn like that. If you do that. With that said, everybody, please make sure you you have a... Oh, there we go. Mess that one up, right? Here we go. Make sure you make good choices. Have a good day, everybody. And please stay safe. It's the greatest find yet. Nothing compares to it. But it's definitely something you should hear. This is The Real Deal with Larry Lawton.